afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4, and welcome to summer, officially. That's right. Happy summer, everybody. Boy, right on cue. Right on cue. Triple-digit heat index today. Is there any respite in sight? Gary Canalti is standing by with the forecast for the rest of the week. One of Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson's staffers comes up in today's January 6th hearings on Capitol Hill. We'll have the details and reaction from the senator's office. And one week ago tonight, a UW-Madison PhD student was attacked by a group of people. Since then, Madison police have arrested four individuals they believe to be responsible for that incident. Let's take a look outside. This is the place to be, I guess. At least these geese are in the <laughs> pool. That's right. A break in the heat slash humidity. That's the good news. Gary Canalti is out in the thick of it right now, however. You know, I think it'll be the humidity that we notice uh, a drop in more than anything else. Uh, temperatures will still be pretty warm for tomorrow, but an invisible cloud track. We've had sunshine for much of the day, but you're starting to see some cumulus clouds pop up across southwestern Wisconsin. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center does have a marginal risk for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm this evening, and you can see on Doppler track just starting to see a line of showers uh, developing out to the west across parts of Iowa. Iowa, and that might be the forerunners of some thunderstorms that will move through later on this evening. But you can see on high-resolution radar, southern Wisconsin right now free of precipitation. Temperatures, oh boy, take a look at some of these. They're mid to upper 90s in some spots. 97 in Broca, 99 in Janesville, 93 here in Madison. Dew point temperature in the lower 70s, so you put that all together. It feels like 101 degrees in Madison, 106 in Janesville. That's dangerously hot for some people. The heat advisory continues until 7 p.m. this evening, but the the heat will break as the thunderstorms roll on through early this evening. And then after that, look for a drop in the humidity, low of 67 tonight, high tomorrow, 83, but with less humidity. As we take a look at first worn traffic right now, the uh, live view of the Beltline over at, uh, well, that was supposed to be the Beltline of Park Street. That's uh, East Washington Avenue. Traffic moving steadily there, but there are some delays on the Beltline, especially the eastbound Beltline from, uh, say, Monona Drive back to around Verona Road. We have been getting some reports of a few pavement buckles here and there, so keep that in mind with the high heat and humidity. That that is your News 3 Now, First Warn Traffic. All right, welcome to summer. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. First at four, some revealing testimony today at the January 6th Select Committee hearings. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson was implicated during a hearing by the January 6th Committee. An investigative counsel told the committee that just minutes before Congress was to begin certification of the 2020 election, an aide for Johnson, Sean Riley, told Chris Hodgkins from Mike Pence's staff that Johnson wanted to hand deliver to Pence the fake elector votes from Wisconsin and Michigan because the archivist didn't receive them. Hodgins replied, quote, don't give that to him. A spokesperson for Johnson, Alexa Henning, tweeted a statement this afternoon saying Johnson, quote, had no involvement in the creation of an alternate slate of electors and had no foreknowledge that it was going to be delivered to our office. Today, the committee turned its focus to local election officials. Including some fellow Republicans who felt the weight of President Trump's pressure campaign to hand over to him the presidency. Skylar Henry reports from Capitol Hill. Tuesday, the House January 6th committee argued former President Donald Trump and top aides pushed officials in key states to overturn the election in his favor, despite warnings it could lead to violence. The president's supporters heard the former president's claims of fraud and the false allegations he made against state and local officials as a call to action. One gentleman that had the three bars on his chest and he had a pistol. Arizona State House Speaker Rusty Bowers faced threats after he resisted pressure from Mr. Trump and his attorney at the time, Rudy Giuliani, to replace Arizona's electors. Bowers recalled this exchange with Giuliani. He said, we've got lots of theories, we just don't have the evidence. Also testifying were Georgia's top election officials, Gabriel Sterling and Brad Raffensperger, who received that now infamous phone call where the former president asked for additional votes to win the state. We just followed the law and we followed the Constitution. And at the end of the day, President Trump came up short. A 2020 Georgia election worker said she and her family were physically accosted and faced death threats after Mr. Trump and Giuliani made false accusations about a scheme involving a ballot. Wishing death upon me, saying things like, be glad it's 2020 and not 1920. During Tuesday's hearing, the committee also publicly ramped up scrutiny on the actions of some of their Republican colleagues. What did Mr. Biggs ask you to do? He asked if I would um, sign on both to a letter that had been sent from my state and or that I would support 
the decertification of the electors, and I said I would not. British filmmaker Alex Holder now says he has complied with the committee subpoena to overturn exclusive footage and interviews with the former president and his inner circle in the days before and after January 6th. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And as we mentioned, the committee is expected to depose a British filmmaker Alex Holder on Thursday. That same day, it plans to hold another public hearing, this time to lay out Mr. Trump's efforts to pressure Justice Department officials. Well, everything is getting more expensive, and that is putting a big crunch on individuals just trying to make ends meet. That's why a new Madison pilot program may help some families in need. Brady Mallory shows you how the Madison Forward Fund will work. Brady? Well, the city of Madison is just announcing the new program that will guarantee direct payments to select families. The Madison Forward Fund will provide 155 families with $500 per month for a full year. Those who are selected for the program can and then use the money with no strings attached. That means they can put it toward any expense they may need it for. The purpose of this program is to help our most vulnerable citizens during these tumultuous times, but also to build momentum for a sustained federal program that will bring stable support for families. In order to qualify for the program, families must have a household income less than 200% of the federal poverty line, have at least one child under 18 living in their home, and be permanent Madison residents. All the money for the program comes from private donors, so program leaders say no city tax dollars will be spent on it. Applications are available online and open from today through July 3rd. You can find a link to the application under the story on our website, channel3000.com. Brady, thank you. Madison hosted its second second annual Summer Youth Construction Career Fair today at the Madison Labor Temple. The goal was to introduce more than 50 young adults to the career pathways within the construction trades. The host of today, the Wisconsin Regional Training Partnership, or STEP, is an intermediary for the construction and manufacturing sectors. It helps people attain apprenticeships and continuing education to become a journeyman. There's a lot of opportunities here. They got like all sorts. From what I'm looking at, they got a bunch of trades from everything from, you know, electrician, plumbers, sheet metal workers, uh, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of different opportunities for everybody to choose. Big Step coordinated the Summer Youth Construction Career Fair to help address the labor shortage that's expected due to retirements and the shrinking workforce pool. One week ago tonight, a UW-Madison PhD student was attacked and beaten by a group of individuals. The attack sparked an anti-Asian hate protest by students concerned that the PhD student was attacked due to racial hate. Since then, Madison police have arrested four people they believe are responsible for for that incident and three others like it. Tonight, another student who was attacked is coming forward with his story. He spoke with our Brad Hamilton, who joins us now. Brad? Mark and Susan, Curtis Wang says that he was attacked by four individuals Madison police arrested the same night the PhD student was beaten badly. This all started at around 9 o'clock last Tuesday night near State Street. That's when Curtis says while he was walking home, someone threw a banana at his back. When Curtis threw that banana back at them, they chased him down the street. Thankfully, Curtis was able to escape. However, he said the next morning he found out that a fellow classmate was not so lucky. Curtis says that he believes the four suspects picked on him because he is Asian and he shared why he finds that so frustrating. You're like upset because um, we're all human beings. We just have um, different cultural backgrounds. We have different faces. We have different like religious beliefs, but they just attack me because of my face. So I just feel like it's not okay. Madison police did acknowledge the attack against Curtis, but said the report was filed by campus police, so they don't have any more details. A spokesperson with MBD said that they do understand people's concerns that these two attacks were racially motivated. Nationally, hate crimes against Asian Americans have risen since the pandemic, but right now they have found no evidence that any words were spoken to the victims suggesting they were deliberately attacked. Coming up at five, we're gonna hear much more from Curtis and his story.
All right, Brad, we'll see you then. Thank you. Sauk County authorities are searching for a driver who they say hit and killed a bicyclist on a rural county road last night. Officials said a caller contacted dispatchers around 1030 to report that a bicyclist who had left home around 730 still hadn't returned home. A deputy with the Sauk County Sheriff's Office responded to the area of County Road B and Castle Road to check on the biker's condition and later found a crash scene on the roadway just east of Castle Road. The bicyclist who was still alive when the deputy arrived suffered serious injuries in the crash. The deputy attempted life-saving measures, but the victim ultimately died of their injuries. Madison's Henry Vila Zoo introduced the newest member of its family today, a new baby Bornean orangutan who was born earlier this month made its public debut. Zookeepers don't know the gender of the baby yet and they have not named it. This is the second baby for mother Chelsea. Her firstborn, a male named Bob, was born in 2006 and now lives at the Oregon Zoo. The baby's father, Datu, is on exhibit at the zoo and will be introduced to his child once Chelsea is comfortable navigating her habitat. Knowing that um, Bornean and Sumatran orangutan populations in the wild are, are nose diving so quickly due to the palm oil um, situation. Knowing all that, it's even more important to have orangutans here in zoos that are, um, in, you know, representing for their wild counterparts and, and educating guests that come in to think a little bit more closely about the products that they use or um, even creating that connection with an animal that's so closely related to us. Zoo staff also shared some facts about orangutans. Orangutan mothers only give birth every five to eight years, and they tend to only have one baby at a time. During her lifetime, a female orangutan will have only two to three children. Orangutan pregnancies can be detected with an over-the-counter pregnancy test, just like humans. So we'll let you know when the baby is available oh, for seeing. So sweet. And they are critically endangered. It's so important to every birth yeah, especially. Very exciting news. Well, it's officially summer, and that means grilling season. Ironically, <laughs> it's too hot to be outside today. So Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is grilling in the studio right now. She, <laughs> she's cooking up some steaks when Live at 4 continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at 4. some relief. Relief from the heat outside. Relief from sleepless nights and relief from big electric bills. Even your air conditioning unit needs some relief. So when you wrap your home with our premium injection foam, it's like putting your entire house in a cooler. It keeps the hot air out, the cool air in, and your electric bills lower. And right now, when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. USA Insulation. At TSR, we transform your old, beat-up concrete into a beautiful, durable surface in one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings. We specialize in garages, patios, pool decks, basements, and more. We don't just coat over your old concrete. We start by grinding it down, then we apply the base coat and chip and seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. Our coatings are beautiful, durable, ridiculously easy to clean, and are backed by our exclusive lifetime warranty. Our in-house team is ready to answer any questions that you have before and after the install. And right now on all projects, we're offering 15% off. Call the number shown below or visit our website for your new floor today. My name is April and I am a caregiver. I've been with Nell now for two and a half years. I know how much her family relies on me. At care.com, you can find the local senior care help your family needs with profiles, reviews, and more. Care.com. Discomfort back there. Instead of using aloe or baby wipes or powders, try the cooling, soothing relief of Preparation H because your derriere deserves expert care. Preparation H. Get comfortable with it. 
The summer of savings means options galore at Bob's Discount Furniture with our best financing options ever. 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 With 6, 12, 30, and 60-month financing options to fit your budget and tons of mattress options to fit you. Like my Bobapedic Prize Gel Mattress, my Bobapedic Prize Hybrid Mattress, or my Synergy Mattress in two feels, extra firm or plush. Whichever mattress fits you best, only $5.99 for the queen or $50 per month for 12 months with special financing. Get Bob's Discount! Only at Bob's Discount Furniture. Most senators can tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef has gone up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Welcome back. For many people, the name Kellogg is synonymous with cereal. But Kellogg is splitting into three different companies now and spinning off its cereal business. The first company will include Kellogg's North America cereal unit, which will be Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, and Rice Krispies. The second company will be uh, its snacking unit, which includes Cheez-Its, Pop-Tarts, and Pringles. And lastly, <laughs> That's a, all good eating. Yeah, a new plant-based foods company that will be anchored by its Morning Star Farms brand. Kellogg explains spinning off the companies will better position each business for growth. Their new names will be announced at a later date. The American Academy of Pediatrics is updating its sleep guidelines for babies. Its main message, co-sleeping under any circumstances is not safe. The AAP says that while many parents choose to share a bed with their baby to help with breastfeeding or because of cultural preferences, the evidence shows that co-sleeping significantly raises the baby's risk of injury or death. The agency says some 3,500 infants die from sleep-related deaths every year in the U.S., many of them from socially disadvantaged communities. The AAP also says to avoid using incline products or crib decorations. It recommends parents put babies to sleep alone on a flat, firm mattress with a snug fitted sheet and instead of a blanket, use a swaddle sack. It was a positive day on Wall Street for a change. The Dow Industrials added 641 points, closing at 30,530. The Nasdaq up 270 points. The S&P 500 gained 89 points for its best day in three weeks. Well, nothing says summer quite like the sound of beef sizzling <laughs> on the grill. You might hear it in the background. Angie Horgan from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here with some steak recipes. Too hot to be outside over a hot grill, right? You okay. suggested you suggested doing it here. I agree with you. I suggested it. Except it the aroma is wafting through the building <laughs> and everyone is going to be starving. So we're grilling inside today, which is good. Yeah. What, are we, what are we making? So I've got um, a really fun ribeye recipe and I've got a like a homemade compound butter like you would get at a steakhouse. Great. Which is kind of fun. It's still June Dairy Month. Sure. So we got a little bit left. What's the secret so, to a good ribeye? Well, um, when shopping, look for a lot of marbling. Ribeye is known for its marbling, so it's got that great beefy flavor. It's so tender. Um, I just look for ones with big eyes. Now this, I just rubbed with some um, garlic, and I use like a minced garlic, so it's a wet rub, and fresh thyme and black pepper. Okay. And that's it, because ribeyes really don't need a lot of flavor, just because they have so much flavor. A lot of additional flavor. Exactly. So, How long right. on, on each side? Um, for like outside on the gas grill, like we would do if it wasn't 100 degrees, I'd like to set my timer for five minutes aside. Okay. I do a medium to medium low heat and then use the meat thermometer. So use that instant meat thermometer, um, bring it up to 135 degrees for a medium rare, let it rest. It will continue to cook. So like I just pulled this one off of this grill. It'll cook here for five or 10 minutes and increase. And reabsorbs all the moisture. Yeah, it reabsorbs all that, the juices. So when you go to slice it, they don't run all over your plate or your carving board, mm -hmm. and it will continue cooking. It just doesn't stop cooking, right. um, especially if you're outside today. Yeah, right. <laughs> it'll really continue to cook. Put it on the so, sidewalk. Yeah, so it'll raise to 150 degrees, which is kind of like that perfect, nice pink, medium rare. And then I grilled some big portobello caps alongside, and then I'll put the butter like a pat or a tablespoon of butter on the steak. As it rests, that butter will melt. And what's in the butter? So blue crumbled blue cheese, um, sun-dried tomato, and parsley. 
Ooh, that's fancy. And then some. So you just mix butter. that in a regular stick of butter yeah. and then wrap it in this and freeze it? So let your butter get to room temperature nice and soft or set outside for 10 for, seconds. For 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. And then add your ingredients, roll it up in like a piece of um, plastic wrap, like a log size, and you can cut it off easily and pop it in the freezer or the fridge. It can last in the fridge a long time, all summer. Yeah. Okay. Second recipe. So now this is a top round steak. So a little more affordable cut for the grill. Top round steak's very loud less expensive per pound than mm -hmm. a ribeye. But you need to plan ahead, so marinate. I marinated 24 hours. Garlic, yeah, ginger, go. lime juice, um, a little bit of salt, and green onion. And then um, grilled it. And top round, you want to, you don't want to do a grill top round if you like it to well done, or even past medium. Because you It'll might not have tough. optimal eating experience. <laughs> right, so nice pink medium rare, that same temperature, 135, let it raise to 145 is perfect. I just got it served on a bed of simple couscous and some um, sugar snap peas. And then on the website, there's a recipe for a fresh salsa to go with. So fresh mango, a little jalapeno or serrano pepper, whichever you like, cilantro, a little lime juice, and some more green onion, and that's about it. So colorful, and it couldn't be healthier. That's no, great. exactly. Very lean. Um, top round is a lean cut. So, beeftips.com is Wisconsin Beef Council website. Check out everything we have there. Click right on As Seen on TV. We've got some other fun, great steak recipes we're featuring this month. And then also from the As Seen on TV page, we have everything you need to know about grilling. So, if you're still a grilling novice, go to our website, check it out. Facebook, we, Instagram, the Facebook, whole works. Instagram, Pinterest. Twitter, right. YouTube. Better grilling weather tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Angie. Great to see you. Good to see yeah, you. you well, still to come at four, a woman in central Wisconsin is making memories for some high school students. We'll find out why and what it means for the seniors coming up after Gary's first worn forecast. can't get enough of your signature dish? Get everything you need with Pick and Save Free Pickup with no surprise fees. So start your cart today. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Are you suffering from neuropathy? Do you experience stabbing pain, numbness, tingling, or burning in your feet? Are you tired of sleepless nights and avoiding life due to pain? If you've been diagnosed with neuropathy or are experiencing pain or numbness in your feet, pick up the phone and call us right now before it's too late. Neuropathy is a very serious and progressive disease where your nerves start to break down. Eventually, it leads to balance problems, falls, complete loss of independence, and often amputation. Our program addresses the underlying causes and doesn't simply mask your symptoms with medication. In fact, many patients start experiencing relief from their neuropathy symptoms within weeks. There's no surgery and no use of prescription drugs. Pick up the phone right now and call the number on your screen to find out if you're a candidate for our neuropathy program that has changed thousands of lives. You don't have to spend another day suffering. Call us today and see if you qualify for the relief you deserve. Do not wait. Call now. How is this still playing? Aspercream Arthritis. Full prescription strength. Reduces inflammation. Don't touch my piano. Kick pain in the Aspercream. Get inspired. Tour 30 custom homes and see the newest trends. The Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns, is open daily, June 17th through 26th. Visit madisonparadeofhomes.com for tickets and more information. The challenges we face today feel monumental. Inflation, gas prices, and now an unthinkable threat to a woman's right to choose. I'm Alex Lazary, and I have a track record of getting things done. That's how you know I'll work for you. By lowering prescription drug prices, putting more money into people's pockets, and protecting every woman's right to choose, no matter what. This is why we must defeat Ron Johnson and start meeting our challenges head on. That's why I approve this message. The Spring Green Art Fair is coming June 25th and 26th to downtown Spring Green. Hundreds of artists from around the nation will be there both days. Don't miss the fun and excitement June 25th and 26th in Spring Green. Angie's List is now Angie, and it's easier than ever to get your projects done right. With Angie, you can connect with top pros and see ratings and reviews. And when you book and pay through Angie, you're covered by our happiness guarantee. Check out Angie.com today. Angie and done. 
Save app, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales, all for prices that are lower than low. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Take a look at this. Weather watchers were treated to this dazzling display with not one, not two, but three water spouts spotted twisting together off the coast of Mobile, Alabama. That prompted the National Weather Service to issue a special marine warning for the coastal region. No damage reported, and this ended up being another testament to the power of Mother Nature. Oh, spectacular. So, Gary, these are pretty common. Yeah, yeah over, pretty common, the especially in, uh, this, during the summer months. You get these showers that pop up, and all of a sudden you get a little water spout. Do they actually can. touch the water? Oh, yeah. They yeah, do. They, they can. And if they move on shore, they're considered a tornado, and they'll issue a tornado warning on it. See, three like that, that's kind of... Yeah, yeah, that is sure. really cool. Yeah. Well, June is Dairy Month, and Angie Edge from the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin dropped off a cheese care package yesterday. Yesterday, we had Henning's Dragon Breath uh, Cheese. We sure did. We all survived it, but barely. It was <laughs> really, really hot, like peppery hot. And today, we're trying something a little cooler. This is a cheese called the Night Walker from Deer Creek Cheese in Sheboygan. Here it is. It's an 18-month cheddar that has been bathed in five-year bourbon from right here in Wisconsin. All right, that's a, you just said all the magic words. Yeah. Yes, here we go. Gary, would so you, you like get, to... you get, I'll, I'll do the visual part because I can't taste it. You're still from the... Because of COVID, COVID. so, um, but it looks good. I mean, the I mean, texture looks good. So. Mm, it's very good. It tastes a little bit like um, Parmesan, doesn't it? It does. It has mm -hmm. that consistency. Yeah. Very, thank you, friends at Deer Creek. That is good. Very We're going to taste good. one every this night this week. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you take that out. Hopefully, it doesn't melt in the parking lot. I know. Lot. It's, it's a little, little hot. A little break in the humidity, though. Yeah. We'll get some thunderstorms and then a break in the humidity for tomorrow. I'll have the first one forecast in just a couple minutes. What can I do with less asthma? With Dupixin, I can do more. Catching my train. Making moves. <laughs> Making a connection. Oh, a train connection. That's how you do more with Dupixin, which helps prevent asthma attacks. Dupixin is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma that can improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks and can reduce or even eliminate oral steroids. And here's something important. Dupixin can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Are you ready to do more with less asthma? Just ask your asthma specialist about Dupixin. This is Connie Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassion and care in your time of need. These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who are by their side, where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community, independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. Joe Biden opened America's borders, increasing the flow of deadly drugs into our communities. Last year, over 105,000 people died of drug overdoses in America. Biden's putting our children and families at risk. Ron Johnson is warning everyone that drug traffickers are adding fentanyl to counterfeit pills, and it only takes one pill to kill. Please tell your children and support law enforcement. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
promise, the heat and humidity are here. These are current temperatures, 93 Madison, 99 in Milwaukee, 94 in Dubuque, Iowa, 99 in Rockford, Illinois. But you can tell that there are uh, there is a drop in temperatures to the west. Not a big drop. Temperatures drop into the upper 80s out toward Eau Claire and Minneapolis. But there's also a drop in the humidity as well. Notice dew point temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Very sultry air across southern Wisconsin. But then those dew points drop into the 60s and 50s by the time you get to the Twin Cities. So there is a sign that we'll see a, a bit of relief in the uh, heat and humidity for tomorrow. Right now it feels like 101 in Madison, 105 in Milwaukee, 106 in Rockford, 107 degrees in Moline, Illinois. That is just blistering hot. And with all that heat and humidity, you would expect some thunderstorms to develop. But right now, the mid levels of the atmosphere are very warm, and it's hard for thunderstorms to break through that cap. If they do, uh, there's enough moisture to get them to become severe pretty quickly. There's a marginal risk for an isolated severe thunderstorm over southern Wisconsin. The higher risk, the slight risk, is back to the south and west of the Quad Cities into parts of eastern Iowa. But on Doppler track, you can see a couple of sprinkles trying to develop here, a couple of showers. These are actually behind the cold front. So it's this area here that we're watching to see if we see thunderstorm development. It'll take place very rapidly if it does occur, but it's not a given that it's even going to occur. If it does happen, we could see gusty winds and some hail in the strongest storms. But right now, just a couple of sprinkles out toward Prairie Ridge Machine. But take a look at the future track computer models. They show these storms developing and moving through southern Wisconsin during the next few hours. That's one of the future track models. The other one shows these storms kind of developing more to the east of us. So again, even the computer models are in a little bit of a disagreement. There'll probably be some storms developing. It's just hard to pin point exactly where they are. Many people will probably miss out on the rain altogether. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Back to sunny skies and a warm but less humid day tomorrow. Then we'll see temperatures in the upper 80s for Thursday and Friday. Just a slight chance of a thunderstorm Thursday night into Friday. And then you can see thunderstorm chances with more humidity on Saturday, followed by a drop in temperatures for early next week. Heat advisories in effect for all of southern Wisconsin through uh, 7 p.m. tonight. They extend back into parts uh, as far southwest as Kansas City and other areas farther to the south also under heat advisories. Current heat index readings in the triple digits through much of the central Midwest. Actual air temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. But again, that break to the north and west means that we'll at least see temperatures drop back into the 80s for tomorrow. That heat advisory runs until 7 p.m. tonight. Look for a chance for a shower or thunderstorm this evening, then partly cloudy and turning less humid overnight with a low of 67. Tomorrow, look for a high temperature of 83. It'll be sunny, but less humid. and It'll feel a lot nicer. You can see on a future track, those storms moving on out tonight. Then look for uh, sunny skies tomorrow. Highs in the low 80s. High temp uh, low temperatures tomorrow night around 60 and then back into the uh, lower to middle 80s on uh, Thursday. You can see thunderstorm chances as we head into the uh, latter part of next week. Uh, maybe some thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday. A little more humidity then, but I'm not seeing blistering heat, at least over the next 10 days. Oh, highs in the so. 70s. Look at that. Yeah, and that Sunday, Monday time period really looks nice. Yeah, not 90s for right now. We got, we've, we got plenty of time. Yeah, we've had a couple rounds already. I you know. know. Some summers, you know, it's we wait till July before we see them. Right, some, we've had summers about any 90s. Yeah, that's uh, true. There's been one or two. Yeah. yeah. Happy right, summer. First day today. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Sure. For 15 years, Tamara Kiwalny didn't get experience a lot of things that other kids got to do. She didn't have a lot of pictures, unfortunately, from her childhood. Dale Ryman tells us how a Cronwetter, Wisconsin woman is capturing a small moment in time for some high school seniors to be able to look back on with a smile. Nice smile on this one. There you go. A little bit more like chin this spike. way. That looks good. I've never had pictures taken before professionally. Yay, you're graduating. I'm getting to get ready and then like just having pictures that uplift you. A lot of the staircase, I want to, you know, make them feel amazing and um, I want my pictures to show how amazing they are. Perfect. More than 40 years ago. I was three years old. Tamara Niwani's foster journey began in her home state of California. It started with my mother driving me to Hillcrest, which is the place where you wait for a placement. And then she had me get out of the car and she drove away. From that point, the search for a home and a family felt never ending. Sometimes because of a foster family. I did experience abuse, uh, severe abuse. And later, her own doing. As a teenager, <laughs> found my rebellion, I guess. But it was a moment with one of her last foster moms yeah. that set Tamara straight. She was saying that, um, that I need to learn to love myself before I can understand what it's like to be loved. 
and um, and so that was like a big um, life lesson for me. Like it's. Um, very precious to me. Now married almost 20 years with a family of her own in Cronenwetter, she's giving back. As a part-time photographer, Tamara is giving seniors in foster care an experience she never had. I don't really have any pictures with the exception of my one photo shoot with my youth counselor. I don't have any photos of me younger. She calls the project 17 Pillows. So one day I sat down and you know, tried to figure out how many placements I had been in it was 17. For today's photo shoot, um, do you have any preference in makeup? 17 Pillows gives them the supermodel treatment from a couple of new wardrobes to hair and makeup at V Beauty House in Rothschild. When you make someone feel pretty, I mean, that goes a long way. I trust her with all of my clients who want to do hair and makeup because she's amazing. What do you think? I love it. Yay! I'll just have you right in front of the staircase here. Nice <laughs> smile on this one. There you go. Yes. Spencer native Nikita Gazaroski graduated from Wisconsin Dells High School in 2020. Oh, yeah, that red wheel is really cool. She was in foster care for two and a half years from sophomore through her senior year. In foster care, I wasn't allowed to have a phone. So those are pretty much the only photos that I have during foster care. Caitlin Dowdy moved from Wausau to Pittsville before her eighth grade year. All right, so a little bit more chin this way. After five years with her foster family, she walked across the stage earlier this month. It's an amazing experience to know that someone is thinking about us and cares. Um, I've had a lot of fun with getting to get, like, knowing Tamara and having these photo shoots. It's cathartic, too, for the students and Tamara. Perfect one. Nice smile on this one. The reward for me is just giving them a gift that I knew that I would have really loved. We're still normal like everyone else, just because we don't live in the same household as our biological family. Just getting out of the foster home, because I usually didn't go very many places. I think I leave like a piece of me with each session that I do. Big smile here, because you have a great smile. There are little reminders every day of her journey. I've been asked if I could rewind time and not go through those things, you know. I don't necessarily know that I I would want to do that because I don't think I'd be who I am today. You look beautiful. Nice smile on this one. What a, what a nice way yeah, to pay it forward. Yeah, great memories, yeah. that's for sure. Well, coming up here on Live at 4, Consumer Reports helps us pick out the best hardwood money can buy. And then coming up next hour at 5, Wisconsin elections officials held a briefing of their own today. It was a first in a series of briefings they intend to hold before the fall election. Will Keneally will tell us more coming up at 5. When pain says, it's time to go home, I say, not yet. Aleve, who do you take it for? Busted? <laughs> Original Gorilla Glue, of course. Works indoor, works outdoor. It's weatherproof, it's waterproof. It's versatile and incredibly strong for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Seven-day-old tuna casserole. How'd you know that? Even my nose is strong. You need Hefty Ultra Strong. It has arm and hammer, continuous odor control. Hefty, Hefty, Hefty! Oh, and uh, Toby needs a bath. Stay one step ahead of Stinky. Reynolds Wrap makes it easy to cook and clean up meals in no time. So I don't miss all the fun stuff. Easy prep, cook, and clean with Reynolds Wrap. Save big money with 11% off everything now at Menards. Update your floor with new vinyl plank flooring from Great Lakes. It's waterproof and has an attached pad for quick installation. Save 11% on Great Lakes vinyl plank flooring. Keep your surfaces looking their best with Procter & Gamble's wide assortment of cleaning supplies. They deliver quality products from brands that you can trust, like Swiffer, Bounty, Dawn, and Tide. Right now, they're all 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. There's a different way to treat HIV. It's every other month injectable Cabinuva. For adults who are undetectable, Cabinuva is the only complete HIV treatment you can get every other month. Cabinuva helps keep me undetectable. It's two injections given by my healthcare provider every other month. It's one less thing to think about while traveling. HIV pills aren't on my mind. 
A quick change in my plans is no big deal. Don't receive Cabinuva if you're allergic to its ingredients or taking certain medicines which may interact with Cabinuva. Serious side effects include allergic reactions, post-injection reactions, liver problems, and depression. If you have a rash and other allergic reaction symptoms, stop Cabinuva and get medical help right away. Tell your doctor if you have liver problems or mental health concerns, and if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or considering pregnancy. Some of the most common side effects include injection site reactions, fever, and tiredness. If you switch to Cabinuva, attend all treatment appointments. Every other month, and I'm good to go. Ask your doctor about every other month Cabinuva. New at 5, a series of physical assaults on the UW campus put student safety into question. Brad Hamilton speaks to a victim about living in fear at 5. Thunderstorms this evening will break the heat a little for tomorrow. High temperatures will warm back up for Thursday and Friday before storms Saturday drop temperatures into the 70s for early next week. I'll let you know if any of the storms will be strong at 5. Then at 6, how Wisconsin Election Commission officials plan to avoid the pitfalls of the last election. Will Keneally breaks down the major issues tonight on News 3 Now at 6. We're giving the old weather satellite a spin. We end up in St. Louis, where it's 97 and humid. <laughs> Feels like here. It's only 93 here. Yeah. It's much cooler. Anyway, hardwood floors can look amazing and add a timeless touch to any home. But when they get worn, scuffed, and scratched, they start to lose their luster. Consumer Reports has hardwood flooring recommendations that'll stand the test of time and some cleaning tips to keep them looking great. Here's our Leah Lynchide. Is there anything more satisfying than a clean and gleaming hardwood floor? Consumer Reports' Toby Stranger says wood floors are hard to beat. Hardwood floors are a great choice if you're looking for flooring that never goes out of style. And like any good flooring, wood needs to be able to stand up to a lot of abuse. To see how well flooring resists dents, scratches, stains, and general foot and paw traffic, CR runs a series of tough tests. This solid wood flooring from Terragrin is made from bamboo and aced CR's scratching and dent tests. It's also very good for resisting stains. If you get a lot of foot traffic, consider this LL flooring red oak instead. It earned one of the top scores in CR's abrasion tests. Whether you're installing new floors or your home has them already, keep them looking good for years to come does require some special care. A no-shoes inside rule can be great if you can enforce it, but it can be tough with kids and pets tracking dirt in. Place a doormat outside of your entrances to keep people and pets from tracking in dirt and mud. Consider area rugs or runners in high traffic zones, like in front of the kitchen sink or oven. To keep scratches away, use felt protectors under your furniture legs and always lift furniture instead of sliding. A good vacuum can help too. This Kenmore Elite Pet Friendly Upright Vacuum is a great choice for bare floors and carpets. And as the name implies, it can handle your pet's hair too. For News 3 Now, this is Leah Lynchide. And if you're tempted to mop your floors, Consumer, Consumer Reports says go easy on the water and never use a steam mop since they can damage hardwoods. There you good have to know. It. All right, good news on the vaccine front. Almost every American, young and old, can now get a COVID shot. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff joins us next on the first day infants to five-year-olds can get vaccinated. That's when Live at Four continues. with Matt Couplin of Midwest Financial Group and a new location today. Where are we at? The rooftop at the Princeton Club West in Madison. It doesn't get much better than this. This is gorgeous up here. And you're going to relate how the financial world comes together with the fitness world for us. Yeah, I've been a member here now for 15 years. It's an amazing place. Uh, they've got really good equipment, personal trainers, things like that. I think in our world, finance we're sort of like a personal trainer for people's finances absolutely now there are a lot of people who are a little bit leery right now with everything going on with the economy and the stock market and they're nervous how important is it for them to find an expert in the financial world to, to help maybe alleviate some of that stress or find an outlet at a health and fitness center where they can do something good for them themselves the world is is negative things are are difficult and you've got to find outlets right and so uh, when things get tough you got
got to focus on your health, you got to find healthy outlets, you have to surround yourself with positive people, and I think all of that will, will help pull you through those, those tough times. Absolutely, and you're a disciplined guy, yet you know and you can tell the value in just having somebody hold you accountable, to know somebody's counting on you to be here, that, that's going to make you work harder or work differently than you would if you were doing it on your own. It's about sticking to the plan. When my alarm goes off at 4 in the morning and, and I know I'm supposed to go to the gym, I could hit snooze, but when I know there's someone there holding me to it, I'm better off for it. So it's easier to, to follow through and stick to things that way. Absolutely. If you want to have Matt and his team of wonderful financial professionals help you out, Midwest Financial Group, he's the guy to talk to. I'm Emmy Fink, he's Matt Couplin, and... You're buzzed into Madison. Take one, marker. Toilet paper, we all use it. And like cheese or motorcycles, Wisconsin's long been a leader in production. But we lost our share of the market and jobs as companies sought cheaper and cheaper labor. Our supply chain crisis shows just how vulnerable we are when we allow Wisconsin products to be made overseas. I'm running for Senate to fight this race to the bottom, to make sure Wisconsin jobs and products are made right here. Because Chinese toilet paper, my ass. I'm Tom Nelson, and I approve this message. Hey, this one's free. Car in front of you pay for it. The best things in life are free. It's the greatest day of my life! <laughs> Just wait till she hears about free installation from Feldco. <gasps> free installation? Yeah! Free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest until 2024. That's something to get excited about. Free installation ends soon. Call now. Full quality windows, siding, and doors. Call 866 for Feldco. In first horn traffic, the live from the Beltline at Park Street, traffic moving pretty slowly on the eastbound side. Be aware that there could be some uh, potential uh, uh, lane or pavement buckling because of the heat. But you can see delays right now, slowdowns from Stoughton Road to Monona Drive, and then stop and go from Monona Drive back to uh, Verona Road on the eastbound Beltline. Right now, travel time 23 minutes on the eastbound Beltline from University Avenue to the interstate, 17 minutes going back in the westbound direction. But outside of Madison, things are looking pretty good on the interstates. That's your news for now, first horn traffic. Thank you, Gary. Russian journalist Dmitry Murat off won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2021. He decided to auction it off to raise money for Ukrainian child refugees. It sold yesterday on World Refugee Day for $103.5 million. Wow. That shatters the old record for a Nobel Prize a Nobel Prize by almost $100 million. The auctioneer was, quote, flabbergasted by the sale. He also said he could not confirm the identity of the buyer, but said the winning bid was made by proxy. A lot of people are going to win yeah, after absolutely. that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it was a big day for little kids around the country. Children six months old to five years are now eligible to receive their first COVID vaccine. Some parents were quick to line up to get the shots, but others are more reluctant. Doctors say vaccinating children is not only about protecting about protection but also preventing long-term consequences this is a big day we've been waiting a long time for children to have access to the vaccine we now have every age group six months and above in the country which is now eligible to get protection from the covid 19 vaccine and i'll tell you as a dad of a four-year-old this is a big deal for my family as well the Moderna vaccine requires two doses. The Pfizer vaccine involves three doses. Moderna's vaccine is one quarter of the dose given to adults, and Pfizer's is one tenth of what is used for adults. And UW Health Chief Quality Officer Dr. Jeff Potoff is back with us for his weekly visit. Good to Hi, see Dr. you again. Hi, Dr. Potoff. Good to see you. Good to be here. How big of a deal is this? You know, for some people, this is a really big deal. I know families who have these young children uh, who are doing the things that we kind of forgot about. They're wearing masks. They're avoiding large groups. They're postponing vacations. Uh, now that they're able to get their children vaccinated, uh, they are afforded those same protections. Their life can get more back to normal like the rest of us. How do you decide if the Moderna vaccine, the two dose, or the Pfizer three dose vaccine is better for your child? You know, I, I think for the most part, they're gonna be about equivalent. Uh, if you look at efficacy data, Pfizer has the three shot series. At three shots, you're gonna have about 80% protection from any symptoms at all initially. That'll wane over time, but you're still gonna have great protection against severe disease. Moderna's less than that at a two dose series, but I think what will happen is at some point in the future, like most of these vaccines, there will be a booster dose added on, making Moderna a three dose series, which will likely have equivalent protection. So right now, I think it's a horse apiece. Whichever one you can find that's convenient, I'd go out and get it. The CDC says 70% of children in the U.S. have gotten COVID. So I'm a parent. Why get a shot? They've had it already. 
Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of parents are wondering, you know, sh should I should I sign my kid up? I know after that second dose, they're going to be fussy. Maybe they'll have a fever. Uh, and what we say to that uh, is that the vaccine provides really good protection against more severe disease. Uh, and with the variants that are out there, that natural immunity, it could wane. It might not be there for you when you need it. Uh, you know, likewise, the vaccine protects against other things that aren't death. I think we so often think it's death or nothing. Uh, so things like long haul symptoms, confusion, inability to play in sports this summer or have a good time at a pool, uh, you kind of take that off the table. Uh, and you know, I've been there in the room with parents who have a deathly ill child in the PICU. That is absolutely terrifying. So even if it's really, really unlikely that your kid is that kid, uh, you don't want to be that family who finds out that they're in that situation when it could have been prevented by just getting a vaccine. Uh, so uh, for, you know, really severe disease in kids, there should be almost no tolerance for sick sick kids with COVID. Is the vaccine available locally now? There are places locally that have it. Uh, I think what you'll see is over the course of this week, it'll be easier to find. The first vaccinators will be those national vaccinators. They get their supply directly. Walgreens, CVS. Yep, uh, state vaccinators, UW Health, most of the clinics, they are gonna get their supply from the state probably in the next 24, 48 hours. Uh, so by the middle of the week, uh, end of the week, it should be fairly easy to find this dose for your kid. And get it. Yeah, I think really no reason not to get it. Uh, I think everyone should be getting this unless there's some sort of extraneous circumstance that their doctor is recommending them not. The death toll right now is about 250 people a day across the country. It's the lowest it's ever been since this all started. It's still 250 people, mm -hmm. but it seems we're making some progress. Yeah, I feel like we're getting closer and closer to that real endemic stage where we're seeing COVID cases. People are coming down with it. It's becoming more of an inconvenience. Uh, you know, you don't feel great, but you're not ending up in the hospital. You're not dying. Uh, that really does paint a roadmap for how we live with COVID in the future. We get our vaccines, we get our boosters, but life goes on uh, and it isn't as disruptive as what we saw the last couple years. We're talking a lot about kids and we have your family here We today. have some special so guests in. in the studio. Do the introductions. Hey, so I've got my family here. Uh, this is Kristen, uh, my amazing wife. And I've got my two kids, uh, Natalie and Nora, uh, and they were uh, around the studio today, so they uh, stopped in. And 12 and 8? Uh, no. 11 and... and Oh, no, I'm gonna. Put it down. <laughs> okay, Dad. Yeah. Got me there. Well, well thanks oh, for coming out yeah, today. Nice to see you guys. And everybody's You're on vaccinated, TV. obviously. How cool and was that? Good. Well, have a great summer. Thank you. All right, we'll see you next week. See you next week. And we'll be right back with the final check of your forecast. It's a short drive to big adventure at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in the Port of Dubuque. General admission gets you access to all exhibits for two consecutive days. Plan your adventure at rivermuseum.com. Inflation is a tax hitting Wisconsin families and businesses, especially at the pump. But the Biden administration cut American energy production. These are their policies. They want to drive up the price of fossil fuel. They want to drive up the price of energy, so apparently we, we use less of it. Senator Ron Johnson is fighting to restore American energy independence. Johnson helped write legislation to finish the Keystone Pipeline, expand U.S. oil production, and promote natural gas. Tell Senator Johnson, keep fighting for American energy independence. Get inspired. Tour 30 custom homes and see the newest trends. The Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns, is open daily, June 17th through 26th. Visit madisonparadeofhomes.com for tickets and more information. Most senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef has gone up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. It's time to climb, build, discover, and play at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium's newest exhibit. Live, work, and play in harmony with nature at Forever Forest. Now open. For tickets, visit rivermuseum.com. There could be a strong thunderstorm this evening. I'll be tracking the storms to let you know if any will be severe. Then more UW-Madison students come forward after a brutal assault. We ask what life is like on campus following the attack tonight at 5. Want to know what the weather is like right now where you live? Download the First Warn Weather app and I'll give you my hour-by-hour -hour forecast. The First Warn Weather app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. 
And just a couple of showers trying to develop across western portions of Sauk County, just around Reedsburg. Temperatures right now still very hot. 93 Madison, 99 in Janesville. Dew point temperatures in the lower 70s. This is what it feels like. 101 in Madison, 106 degrees in Janesville. Heat advisory continues until 7 p.m. for all of southern Wisconsin. Look for a low tonight of about 67 once the uh, the skies clear out. High tomorrow of 83 under mostly sunny skies, and it looks like temperatures won't get as hot, at least for the end of the week. All right, Gary, thank you. Tomorrow here on Live Before, we'll preview this season's concerts on the square, which are back on the square. And Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company will be here to take your plant and garden questions questions live. That's coming up tomorrow on Live at 4. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Surgenian's Landfill Free Guarantee has kept more than 20 million pounds of commercial and residential carpet and pad from area landfills. Visit Madison's largest showroom of flooring options, including eco-friendly products. Local. Sustainable. Surgenian's. At Pick and Save, we believe it takes the right team to bring you fresh produce. That's why we partner with farmers who grow only the best. Because working together is truly what it takes to be fresh for everyone. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you, you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Joe Biden opened America's borders, increasing the flow of deadly drugs into our communities. Last year, over 105,000 people died of drug overdoses in America. Biden's putting our children and families at risk. Ron Johnson is warning everyone that drug traffickers are adding fentanyl to counterfeit pills, and it only takes one pill to kill. Please tell your children and support law enforcement. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. In today's final touch, the restaurant that helped launch KC Nationwide is for sale. And it's finger looking good. <laughs> this is the location of Claudia Sanders' Dinner House in Shelbyville, Kentucky. The man known as Colonel Sanders opened the restaurant for his wife. According to the restaurant's website, Sanders and his wife not only lived here, it served as the base of operation for Kentucky Fried Chicken until Sanders sold the company in 1964. Now the land is for sale, including two structures, the 5,000 square foot building that was once the Sanders home and a nearly 25,000 square foot restaurant and banquet hall. Whoever buys the property also gets their hands on several items of memorabilia from Colonel Sanders' personal life, including his original Kentucky Colonel certificate, <laughs> his monogram Bible, but not the Colonel's secret recipe. I was just going to say that. No, that's not included. No word on the price of the property. That'd be fun to own. Well, at least throw in a bucket of chicken. I think so. Maybe some wings. <laughs> that's our time for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here. Oh, you're off? You're on vacation from here on out? Yeah. So ha have you enjoy your time off? Thank you. Right, we'll see you back here tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.